we go. Camera is now connected. Telescope connected. Telescope is now connected. And the focus is connected. Okay, so here we go to connect to the telescope. I'm going to connect to the QMOD toolbox first of all. Uh, the reason I do that is that allows me to do this driver setup. Um, and why do I use that? Well, because it gives me port details and it says auto detect. So I do a port search and it comes back. And because I plug it in the same one, COM10. It's all good, and then I can just connect. If you move that out of the way, then what you see is uh, it's parked at the moment. And there's your all sorts of things that you can do in each I'm not going to do a, a big thing on that, but uh, yeah, I can move it around. Um, I can search. Uh, I do a tour. This is a mosaic. I can do a spiral if I need to find something. I'm stopping the mount, putting the RA in deck, I can unpark it and so on. Lots of different things, different rates, etc. that I can use. Um, but I typically don't use that. What I do is, um, okay, well I can connect PHD2 first of all. And uh, if I go in here, okay, I've got STQHY as my profile, which is the QHY camera and my HEQ56. It, it's not the right mount name, but it works just fine. So we'll just connect it up. Um, I'm not going to start looping, it's not dark yet, so I can't, uh, can't really show you that. But the reason I wanted to do that, first of all, was uh, to start up with APT. And uh, camera connected. there we go, camera is now connected. Telescope is now connected, and the focus is connected. Sometimes I have problems with the focuser driver. Um, so let's, it says it's already connected, and I just want to check. Yeah, so it's on COM11, so it should be fine. Should be fine. So, okay, so now we're into um, APT. Uh, yeah, okay, it says auto cooling. Well, I don't have cooling on the uh, GP290. <coughs> but what you can see at the top here is that the temper home device gives me the, the ambient temperature, the humidity, and the dew point. And it will, that will stay up there. And it can also uh, record that with the file names if I wanted to as well. So I get taken time, my deep sky clock, moon phase over here, uh, east west, if once I'm Pointing at something, this will tell me when I'm going past the meridian. So we've got uh, battery state at the top here, um, temperature of the camera at the moment. So, but the important thing is as well that you also have your telescope and cameras set up. Um, so I've got two profiles. Um, one is for the 10 inch Newtonian, one is for the William, William Optic 61. Uh, I'm using the Newtonian at the moment, so that's okay. Just do a recalc. And what it says then is it basically works out from the camera that I put in. Um, it's 2.9 microns, and the field of view will be 17 minutes times 9 minutes. Resolving down to half a pixel, half a second of pixel per pixel. So, and you put all those sorts of details in there when you put in the CCD. So, um, yeah, okay, well, tonight I'm gonna have a go at M97 when it gets dark, which is the um, um, the Owl Nebula um, just underneath the bowl of Ursa Major. Uh, I had a go at it before with this camera and scope, and I could admit I struggled with the settings a little bit. So I'm hoping a bit later on to be able to um, and to get a better picture uh, and stack the images together, which I couldn't do before. Okay, so I'm also going to do uh, M1, um, so which is the Crab Nebula, 
shows up here. And uh, yeah, um, that actually gives me, if I choose that object, uh, and it shows me the field of view, so that's how big the, the um, M1 will be in my sensor size. Uh, likewise, if with M97, Oh, maybe that. So there it is. So it's not a bad size all, all around, really. It fills up quite nicely for a nebula, for a planetary nebula. Um, some of the bigger objects, so if I looked at Triangle and Galaxy, for instance, that's a big object. Well outside, you can't see anything on there because it's uh, outside the field of view. And the same would be true for Andromeda. Um, what about M13? Yeah, so that would give me a really nice picture of M13 if it was about. Um, it will be full of stars, perhaps too much, needs a bit of context. So maybe this, this um, sensor and telescope combination isn't so useful for that particular object. Okay. So, what I need to do is to set up a plan.